Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Bye, motherfucker. I will fucking drop you. Oh, drop me. Really? You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? This lady is coming over here yelling and screaming. That's man. Just so you know, I came back in to give her the rest of the cash from my wallet. Because you guys have this thing. Ma'am, please walk away. Please. No, 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 no. Ma'am, can you please leave? Because? Can you just please leave? We're, 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 we're leaving. Can you excuse? I'm trying to get out. You need to find another place to be to work over here. Can you please leave? Is your restaurant? No. But so you're ma'am? You're, you're making a problem. Ma'am. You no. need to leave us. You need to leave us. Ma'am. You need to leave us. Thank you, sir. Can you please you leave? Need to, is there a cop or somebody around here? There's a cop here. They, they need to. They need to get her out of here. You need to call the cop because there's no. This is not. Oh. This is what I asked you not to do. Let's go. Are you the thin blue line? I get confused. Hey, Are, you hey, hey, hey. Hey. Are you Antifa? Are you? Are you BLM? You, you need to be quiet. Walk. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, another unprovoked situation where we have black soldiers. There were four black soldiers and they were at an IHOP. They were just simply trying to leave with their food. And Karen, as usual, unprovoked, came over and started a big ruckus because this is what she does. And the Karen behavior, in order for us to see it so much, that right there proves they are passing the Karen behavior down to each other through the generations, you know, passing it around like a party joint. And you can clearly see how easy it was for a black man to get killed just based on psychotic Karen's word. You know, so this is taught behavior. They're conditioned to walk up to a start a situation. When it don't go their way, of course, they turn into the victim of everything. You know, we've seen it over and over and over. So this is instinctmagazine.com, April 23rd, 2021. So as you can see, you know, another Karen over the hill, because, you know, they, they're all, I notice one standing pattern. These women are all up in age. Some of them are fat. Some of them are not. But the behavior is all the same. So this Karen video was actually found on TikTok. It has gone viral. This was at a Virginia IHOP where she was insulting four black soldiers, active duty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are in the military looking at this situation, are these people worth protecting? Not to me, they aren't. But I mean, seriously, we got so many black men and women in the military. When you look at a situation like this and you had to go to war, are they worth protecting? I'm just saying the latest repulsive video to surface features Karen, a white woman at a Virginia IHOP insulting a group of four black soldiers. It's one of the most bizarre Karen confrontations 
that began allegedly after the woman first offered to pay for the soldiers' meals. Somehow, that quickly escalated her accusing the soldiers of stealing her money. So she planned this whole thing out, just like all the other Karens. She planned the entire thing out. She wasn't trying to offer to pay for their meals. She was trying to, uh, you know, just hone in on them to attack them. That's all she was doing. You, you don't flip that fast. You just don't. That was her intention from the beginning. So somehow they stole her money. Video of the incident ended up on TikTok and YouTube posted a soldier who recorded it. He was among the three fellow soldiers trying to enjoy their meal before Pancake Paula flipped out, began to harass the military men and got in their face of another patron identified as a retired out of uniform airman so that must be that white man that came over. At some point, the woman flops down at their table, refusing to let the men peacefully leave. Flatly, you can hear the soldiers ask the woman to leave them alone as the retired airman comes over to their defense and tells the woman to leave the restaurant, to which she ultimately replied, is this your restaurant MFR? I will effing drop you. Yeah, right. You look like you very look very frail and weak, by the way. Um, you want to go? She's talking to this white man like this. You want to go in response to the man's, oh, drop me, really? So, mm. So this woman, ultimately, she placed $30 on the soldier's table. Then moments later, she took 24 back. Only $6 remained on. I mean, she's just playing all kinds of games. This is not sincere, y'all. This is She planned this whole thing out. Next, according to Richard, the woman returned to the restaurant again and began harassing the four black soldiers accusing them of stealing her money. She then further insulted them by saying, you guys are S bags. She abused, uh, the abuse continued as you can hear her in the video taunting the finally began, you know, as she was being escorted out, she was screaming and you could clearly hear her saying, are you the thin blue line? Are you BLM? Are you Antifa? Like I said, this is all planned. Listen, I'm not sure what this woman was going through on this day, nor do I care. All I see when I watch the encounter on video is yet another example of Black people minding their own business. Yes, that's what we always do when they come over. And it's seen over and over and over and over on multiple videos. We never initiate anything with them. They are the ones starting everything. Okay, so all I see when I watch the encounter on video is yet another example of black people minding their own damn business, wanting to be left alone, but apparently such a request is too much for Karen to comprehend. Of course, as expected, my respectful military brothers left without further engaging the wacky woman. And that brings me to a final point on the matter. One, I have made before and will make again the mischaracterization of African Americans as angry, violent, confrontational. People is absolute rubbish. And yes, it's always been that. Like I said, one beautiful thing about COVID, it has pulled the Band-Aid off and we are seeing the truth. People like Karen are the ones that are violent and confrontational. And remember the U.S. Capitol insurrection. We know who's violent and confrontational up in here. We have seen it repeatedly on multiple videos. 
the truth of the matter is, if we were any of those things, there would be a trail of dead Karens from here to Montezuma <laughs> Trust. On the contrary, instead of harassing Black people, racist Karens especially, should be thanking us for our 400 years of gracious patience while dealing with all their skin color driven bullshit. It's exhausting living like this, but it is what it is. So I'll just go ahead and add eating pancakes onto the growing list we can't do while being black. Case in point, just watch the videos below, which we just saw, okay, which we just saw in the beginning. But that is the truth. It is amazing how we are violent and confrontational, but every single Karen video, that's exactly what we see her doing. Mm, amazing, isn't it? Y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.